it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written you are sitting on a time bomb i'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me that is dangerous your uncle is a man i'm building my destiny on my many certificates congratulations but believe me when i tell you vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time are we together there are many who are building their faith and their conviction today on men of god as wonderful as that sounds that is dangerous and that is a risk there are many who are building their faith and their conviction on the monies that they have in their bank account it's one thing for your account to be fine and it's another thing for the bank holding your account to be fine hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an investor whether you were a businessman whether you were an excellent farmer whether you were a professor whether you were naive that flood was going to carry every one of you the only person who would survive was the one who got into that ark hallelujah and every once and again events happen in the earth where there are no alternatives except the word of god that ark of safety you see is the word of god it says to build the ark of gopher wood and let it have three stories anybody who was too proud or not discerning to enter that ark died with the flood the heavens gave its rain the earth gave its rain whoever was in between had to go plants animals everything do you know i know that historically there are still arguments today whether the flood of noah really happened the bible tells us that it happened and so we believe We've not experienced catastrophe on earth like that. If Nigeria has a problem, for instance, you can run to another nation where there is land. And then you can run somewhere and find safety. But what if the whole earth, the whole earth has water? What skyscraper will lift you above it? When the heavens sending its rain, the earth sending its rain, and the, on earth, can you imagine? No nation was saved. Only one ark. Who we see that overcometh, but he that believes that that name of the Lord is a strong tower that you can run into it like Noah ran with his sons to the ark and that they are saved don't blame Noah it was not his fault he was obedient enough to not just say what was written but to do he built it for about a hundred years and history tells us they laughed at him they mocked him to scorn and then when the time had come God himself closed the door and rain came and everyone died I've told you that it was not the ark alone that protected them. If the whole earth is submerged with water, cold will kill you, even if you are in the ark. I hope you know that. So entering the ark was not what protected them. The weather condition, under that kind of condition, I mean, come on, you have basic knowledge of geography. The whole earth being cold, it will kill you. You will freeze right there. And yet they were preserved by the hand of the mighty one. I don't know about you but as for me I have made up my mind that for as long as I live this becomes the basis for my living I have explored a lot of other options and I've seen how weak they are in the face of real life situations the Bible says the Word of God has been tried seven times and it has survived please listen to me ladies and gentlemen thank God for medical doctors but we're living in times where even they themselves are confessing that they will keep doing their best, but they are limited. Thank God for architects, engineers, professors, and all of that. You're in Nigeria here. Our universities sadly have been closed for months. I don't know about you, but let me encourage you by the spirit of grace that we are living in times that are not only perilous times, we're living in times where every believer needs to return back to the integrity of God's word. It is written, is the ancient pathway that many followed and navigated their way through the tides of life and destiny. You would think they would fail with it, and yet at the end of it, that ark will be standing. And the Bible says the ark rested on Mount Ararat.